When I was a child, I liked Lucky Luke. I didn't want to be him in the same way that I wanted to be the Blue Power Ranger, but I guess I admired him like every kid at my age did. There was one thing about him though that really captured my attention. The fact that he could shoot his own shadow. I think the reason everyone found this image so appealing is that we knew deep inside that it's not possible to move faster than your shadow. And there's something amusing about seeing impossible things carried out. We know it's impossible and that's why it's so cool. And then I grew up. I went to school, learned a lot of things like physics, science, maths, relativity and things like that. And then suddenly, the other day, several years later, I found myself thinking, knowing what I know now, do I still believe it's impossible for Lucky Luke to move faster than his shadow? And the answer is, I'm not so sure anymore. So, let's investigate. Imagine Lucky Luke standing in front of a wall. The key idea behind this thought experiment is that light isn't instantaneous, but travels at 300,000 kilometres a second. We want to figure out if Lucky Luke's bullet can hit the wall before the light of his shadow does. So, it's a kind of race that will begin the moment Lucky Luke starts to move. The catch is that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, and that includes the bullet. Now let's see what picture we have. The yellow line is the distance the light has to travel, and the red line is the trajectory of the bullet. Notice that the red line is slightly curved at the beginning because the bullet hasn't yet been fired. Lucky Luke is simply pulling the gun out of his holster. We see that sadly the red line is longer, so even if the bullet was travelling at almost the speed of light, the shadow would still win the race. This is not the whole story though. Look at the picture. This was taken by some unknown photographer standing behind our glorious cowboy. This means that the light would still have to travel back to the photographer in order for us to see the shadow move. So now that we know that the light has to travel double the distance, we see that it's still possible for the bullet to win. As long as the bullet travels a little faster than half the speed of light, it's going to hit the shadow before the photographer sees the shadow move. Of course, we've ignored air resistance, but if the bullet hits the wall almost immediately, hopefully air resistance won't have that much of an impact. So there you have it. Assuming that Lucky Luke is not standing too far away from the wall, Lucky Luke is strong enough to almost instantaneously move his arm at half the speed of light, Lucky Luke's gun has the firepower to shoot a bullet that travels, on average, faster than half the speed of light, and that the photographer is standing further away from the wall than Lucky Luke is, then yes, it is possible for Lucky Luke to shoot his own shadow before it moves. Just to be clear though, this would require an enormous amount of energy, larger than anything that has ever been seen on Earth. The point is that his firearm would need to have extremely complex machinery, and would in fact need to carry the equivalent of several nuclear power plants in order to generate this energy, which would presumably make this a very heavy weapon. On top of that, special relativity tells us that when the gun is moving at half the speed of light, its mass is going to increase dramatically. So, the punchline of the story, Lucky Luke has, Lucky Luke has a massive gun. <laughs> this is the missing end, signing out.